O headphones. Just when we think we've found the perfect pair, technology advances, manufacturers upgrade, and all of a sudden you're in the market again. Case in point, the Jabra Elite 85H wireless headphones. I'm Erin for TechGadgetsCanada.com, and I have tried a lot of Jabra products, going all the way back to my first bone conduction wireless Bluetooth headset for the car. I've got to say I've always been impressed with Jabra products. I received a pair of the Jabra Elite 85H headphones recently in the black color here to test and review in my home and at the office. And I'll tell you what I found. An early heads up though that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Jabra Elite 85H are fully wireless over-ear headphones that use Bluetooth to connect to your smartphone, tablet, or device. There's a multi-function button that lets you play or pause without needing your phone, and you can use the headphones to summon your digital assistant too. To get these phones set up, just turn them on. As soon as you put them on your ears, you'll hear a voice prompt telling you to go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and choose the Jabra Elite 85H from your menu. I was connected in seconds with just a single click. You can connect these headphones to more than one device at a time and to a phone, tablet, or a computer. What's in the box? What comes in the box is rather impressive. You get a large leather look carrying case that comes complete with a handful of handy accessories like an aux cord if you want to use these in wired mode, a charging cable, and a dual aux airplane jack for use on some older airplane models. The first thing I noticed about these headphones is that the ear cups are huge. Now, not so much from the outside, but it feels like there is a ton of real estate on the inside for your ears. At the same time, there is plenty of cushiony, thick padding. Yes, these headphones are ultra padded, and as soon as you put them on, you're going to notice they have killer noise isolation properties. Now, there's a difference between noise cancelling and noise isolation when it comes to wireless Bluetooth headphones. Noise isolation is the act of physically isolating your ears from outside sound. Think fat padding on over-ear headphones or a great seal on in-ear wireless headphones. Noise cancellation, on the other hand, uses digital algorithms to listen for outside noise, then to block it out by creating a digital mask over that sound bleed. While both of these technologies can be effective, noise cancelling technology tends to be the more expensive, so your budget may determine what you choose. Now, these headphones also have noise cancelling technology. Jabra calls it smart active noise cancellation. Before we get to that, we will want to talk about the Jabra app, which you'll need to get the most from these headphones. Jabra has an app that allows you to get finer control over your headphones. Using the app, you can adjust many of the features of your headphones, including the noise cancellation, sound levels, including equalization, and you can even hunt down your headphones if they're lost. I will say I found the app finicky. Nine times out of ten, I'd try to get the app to connect to the headphones to use some of the features, but the app wasn't seeing the headphones, and it was telling me to reconnect, even though I had music already playing. I was really only able to get the app to connect randomly and infrequently, which was frustrating. When it comes to music presets, there are six music preset settings available on your Jabra Elite 85H. There's Default, Bass Boost, Smooth, Speech, Treble Boost, and Energize. The difference between these settings is minimal to my ear. While the bass boost is easiest to pick out, the rest seemed quite similar. I gave the headphones to a coworker and asked her if she'd noticed any differences while I was switching up the modes, and she really only noticed treble boost, saying it sounded like the bass got nixed. There's also an equalization setting in this app. Using the Sound Plus app, you can adjust audio settings to fine-tune your bass, mid-range, and treble by dragging your finger along a line. The adjustments are far more noticeable than using the presets. You can really fine-tune your sound and get lots more bass, treble, or just configure the sound however you like it. These headphones have a feature that until now I've only seen in Apple headphones. It's called Find My Jabra. When enabled using the Jabra Sound Plus app, you can see exactly where on a map your headphones last turned on and connected to Bluetooth. This feature works great and can help you find your headphones if you've forgotten them, say at the office or somewhere else. Another feature I really liked is the on-ear detection. On-ear detection can tell when you've placed the headphones on your ears and when you take them off. I found this setting worked great and helped preserve my battery life. It also made it easy to listen to podcasts at the office where interruptions happen frequently. Now let's talk about the noise cancellation and the ambient functions. Using the Jabra Elite 85H noise cancelling feature creates a great cone of silence around you. It really does keep everything happening outside you from bleeding in, from chatty co-workers to barking dogs or the neighbor's lawnmower, all of those things were successfully blocked out during my testing. 
On the other hand, hear through is a cool feature that lets you allow outside noise into the headphones. Now, why? Well, this is designed to make you more aware of your surroundings when you're maybe walking in busy areas, commuting, or you just need to keep your ears on what's happening around you. Turning this feature on in the Sound Plus app lets you hear nearly everything happening around you while blending that sound appropriately with your music or your audio so you get both at once. This feature works really well and provides a good balance of outside ambient noise and music and helps you feel safer and less isolated. Plus, using the app, you can adjust how much ambient noise to let in, from lots to almost none. These headphones are made to last and last when it comes to battery life. Jabra says the Elite 85H will give you 36 hours of battery life, even with the active noise cancellation switched on. I can say I accidentally left the headphones on and connected to my phone with music playing all day, and I still got many more days of battery life from them after I finally shut them down. Plus, with fast charging, you can get five hours of battery life from just 15 minutes of charging. After going through all those features, it's easy to almost forget about the primary feature, and that's the sound quality. I'm happy to report that these headphones sound great. The Jabra Elite 85H sound really clear, and it's easy to pick up on small details in the music, like drumsticks on the rim, claps, or breaths. Without fussing with the equalizer, you get a very even sound that doesn't lean too hard in any direction, whether that's high or low. And with the ability to customize and fine tune your audio, you can truly get a perfect sound. Now, when it comes to podcasts, the voices are clear and the overall sound is really well balanced. Watching videos was great too. When I was watching YouTube, there was no lag between the audio and the video as I have found on some other wireless headphones. Overall, I found that these are great headphones. They're comfortable, they sound really good, and they're versatile thanks to that wired jack option. If there were any cons, it's probably that I found the preset audio settings weren't very robust. But I don't have any hesitation whatsoever in recommending the Jabra Elite 85H overall if you're looking for a new set of premium headphones. These headphones here sell for about $400 Canadian from places like Best Buy and from Amazon. If you want to read more about them, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full blog posted and you can ask me any questions you have about these headphones either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.